Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss logic micro operation. Logic micro operations specify the binary operations which are to be carried out onto the contents of the register. Now, in this operation, each bit of the register is considered separately. For example, if we want to perform XOR operation, that is R1 XOR R2, and the result is to be stored in R3. So, consider an example, R1 contains 1010, R2 contains 1100 and we perform XOR operation onto this as per the truth table, 00 is 0, 10 is 1, 01 is 1 and 11 is 0. But this will car be carried out when P is 1, we know that P is control function. So, we can have many logic micro operations. We are having 16 various micro operations which can be carried out onto the registers. Okay, let us see one by one. The first one is clear operation. Then we can have AND operation A and B. Then we can have A and B complement, transfer A, A complement and B, transfer B, A X or B operation, then A or B operation. Then we can have A or B whole complement which is nothing but our NOR operation then A X or B complement that is nothing but exclusive NOR operation then we can have only B complement A or B complement A complement A complement or B then A and B whole complement which is NAND operation then lastly we can have all bits to be set to 1 so there are 16 such operations which can be carried out Let's see a basic hardware implementation of this logic circuit, wherein we would be considering only four operations that is AND, OR, exclusive OR and complement. Now for that what we are taking is we are taking one multiplexer of size 4 cross 1. So as it is 4 cross 1 so we require two select lines and to the input zeroth input line we would be connecting the output of AND operation of the bits AI and BI. Then on the first line we would be connecting OR operation wherein we would be performing AI OR BI. Then on the second line we are connecting exclusive OR that means AI XOR BI. And on to the third line of multiplexer we would be connecting complement operation that is A complement. So the lines are connected in this way. And the output we would be getting based on the select lines. Let's see the truth table for the select lines. Now if we provide S1 to be 0 and S0 to be 0, then we would be getting the output of end. Then S10, S01, so we would be getting OR output. Then S11, S00, so we would be getting XOR operation. And we provide both the inputs 1 to the select lines, we would be getting A complement. So this is how the logic circuit is implemented. Over here the only one stage has been defined but if you are having n bits then you require n such uh, stages. Now let's see the application of logic micro operations. Where they can be applied. The first and foremost is selective set operation. Now selective set operation sets one to the bits in register A where there are corresponding ones in B. In other words, wherever there are ones in register B, the corresponding A will become 1. Let's see an example. Suppose register A contains 1010 and register B contains 1100. So in this case, what will happen is wherever there are 1 in B register corresponding bit in A register will become 1. Let's see one by one from LSB. Now here we are having 0 in B. In register B we are having 0 bit. So corresponding bit of A will remain as it is. So it will be 0. Again next bit is 0 in B. So again A will remain as it is. Now we are having 1 in register B, so corresponding bit of A will become 1. So 0 will become 1. Then next again it will become 1. Already it is 1, but it, if whatever it would be, it will become 1. Because there is 1 in B. 
so this is what is selective set operation and it is nothing but or micro operation so if i want to implement a selective set operation i require or micro operation okay let's see number 2 selective complement operation selective complement operation complements the bit in a where there are corresponding ones in b in other words wherever we are having one in register b the corresponding bit of a will be complemented let's see an example suppose a contains 1010 b contains 1100 so wherever there are one in b the corresponding bit of a will be complemented okay so over here we from lsb we are having zero in b so nothing will be changed so zero will remain zero again the next bit contains zero in b so corresponding a will remain as it is so one but now there is one in b so the corresponding bit in a will be complemented so it, here it is 0 so it will become 1 again the next bit contains 1 in b so the corresponding bit of a will be complemented so here it is 1 so it will become 0 so this operation is nothing but exclusive or operation so selective complement operation can be achieved by means of exclusive or micro operation operation number 3 application number 3 selective clear operation now selective clear operation clears to zero the bits in a where there are corresponding ones in b okay let's see an example 1010 b contains 1100 so over here what will happen wherever there are one in b the corresponding bit of a will become zero okay how so over here now you are very clear about this operation zero will remain zero as it is because there is zero in b one will remain one in output as there is zero in b but over here zero will become zero as there is one in b and one will become zero as there is one in b and this operation can be achieved by means of a and b complement micro operation okay let's see next operation number 4 that is mask operation now this mask operation can be achieved by means of clearing bits of a where there are zero in b it is exactly similar to selective clear operation but the only difference is in selective op clear operation we are clearing where there are one in b's whereas in mask operation we are clearing the bits where there are zeros in b okay let's see the example register a contains 1010 register b contains 1100 now over here where there are zeros in b the corresponding bits of a will become zero okay so over here from lsb zero is there in b so corresponding a bit will become zero okay over here there is no issue zero is there so it will become zero only now one is there it will become zero because there is zero in b and rest no change where there are one in b no change the corresponding a bits will remain as it is so zero and one and this operation can be achieved by means of end micro operation so in a, we can say mask operation is a end micro operation let's see next logic micro operation that is insert operation now insert operation inserts new value into a group of bits say for example i want to replace few bits into my register i can apply this insert operation now this insert operation is divided into two parts first step is we need to perform masking wherever we want to insert the values and then we need to perform oring let's see how consider an example we want to insert 1001 in place of 0110 in the following example 
register a contains 01101010 in this group of bits we want to replace 0110 by 1001 so we need to perform insert operation so wherever we want to insert the new bits there we need to perform masking so for masking what we'd be doing we would be putting zeros where we want to perform replace so rest would be one so this is what we need to do and later on we would be performing masking operation is nothing but ending micro operation so the output would be 0 and 1 1 and 1 0 and 1 1 and 1 and now we are doing masking so wherever there are zeros in B corresponding A will become 0 so over here all four bits will become 0 so the first stage is over now the second stage is we need to perform ORing and ORing is to be performed with the group of bits which we want to replace. Okay, so what are the new group we need to insert? It is 1001. So the output of stage 1 is to be ORed with the group of bits which we want to replace and rest bits to be kept 0. Okay, so let's see 0 OR 0 is 0. 1 or 0 is 1, 0 or 0 is 0, 1 or 0 is 1 and now we are inserting the new bits which can be which is done by ORing. So 0 or 1, 1, 0 or 0, 0, 0 or 0, 0, 0 or 1, 1. So as you can see, as you can see 0, 1, 1, 0 earlier is now replaced by 1, 0, 0, 1 in the output rest the number rest bits remains the same that is 1010 zero, zero remains 1010 zero, zero in the output so this is how insert operation is carried out now let's see the last application that is clear operation clear operation compares the words in a and b registers and produces all zero result if the two numbers are equal Suppose A contains 1010, B contains 1010. So if we compare them, that is if the in both the bits are equal, then we would be making it 0. So over here, 0, 0 in A, L, S, B. So output is 0, 1 and 1. So 0, 0 and 0. So 0, 1 and 1, 0. So it is nothing but exclusive OR operation. So we can say if you want to perform clear then we can use exclusive or micro operation that means if we want to clear any of the register it's very simple that in another register we will be copying the same value and we would be performing exclusive or so that our register a would be clear and it is set to zero this is all about applications of logic micro operations